how will the future Volkswagen look like? It might be exactly this. This is the Volkswagen ID concept car. It is shown here at the Paris Motor Show and we are giving you an exclusive preview of this car. Volkswagen says this is our crucial car. This will define our future and why is that? Well, let me give you an introduction of that because at the moment Volkswagen is selling about 10 million cars a year and they say that by 2025 we want to sell 1 million electric vehicles. And how will that happen? First of all, there's a strategy with the E-Up or the E-Golf. The E-Golf that along with the newest facelift will also have a range of 300 kilometers, just pure electric. And then the Volkswagen ID. They say this concept, it's a concept car yet, but we want to build the car pretty much the same way as we're showing it here today. And that would mean the range here can vary from 400 to 600 kilometers, depending on the battery package you get. So a pretty interesting vehicle concept. And you see, in the front, there's no real air vent to cool something because there's no combustion engine inside. And this goes back also to the Volkswagen Transporter, the Bully, or for example, also the Volkswagen Käfer, the Beetle. Also, they didn't have any front air vents, so they are still remaining heritage in this respect. Of course, it's a challenge for designers to do something new with electric cars, not to screw off some customers, but yet again invent something new. And what we see, for example, also with the front lights, that they have some animations. It can look a little bit like a human eye, because when the car will be shut off, there will also won't be the light and it will look like a shut, shut eye like with a human and when the car would turn on it will make an effect like the eye would open. So they got some funny effects right in there also from the design already. Interesting is also about the basic dimensions because this car here is about 13 foot 4 long. That's 4 meters and 10 and that is 15 centimeters shorter than the Volkswagen Golf, so compact segment, but 13 centimeters longer wheelbase, wheelbase 2 meters 75, and that's almost the wheelbase of a Volkswagen Passat. And that also tells you a lot about the interior space you will have there. Another close-up look at the front, and here you can also see that the, those eye shades, they are moving sometimes, and um, this is also a scheme of this whole car. It pretends to be a little bit alive. And again, this special design with no open air vents to to increase the optimization for the wind drag. Um, this is all about wind efficiency. Also, you can see there are no side mirrors, and this is the same direction. It will be done with e-mirrors, because there are cameras on the outside that then will transport an image to the inside. Those will replace the normal side mirrors. And what will they do until 2020, because in 2020 this car is supposed to be released, a little bit late maybe, but until that the new e-Golf with 300 kilometers range shall fill this gap and then in 2020 this car should attack the electric market and also bring Volkswagen on the way to the goal in 2025. And also in 2025 they want to have this vehicle as an autonomous car on the road. Very interesting in the side profile, 20 inch rims and again they are all, all, all the way covered so to reduce the wind resistance once again. And if you look at the whole side profile there's no real B pillar. This is also electric concept and the batteries will be placed at the car bottom and that means that the balance of the car will be almost 50-50 and there's also a low center of gravity and that means those are characteristics of a sports car being here in a van stylish compact car and of course there's no real long front hood and that is the reason because electric cars do not need that and you see by those panoramic windscreen in the front they have managed that the car still looks like it has a longer front and doesn't look too bulky. And now in perspective at the rear and the rear window really resembles a normal Volkswagen Golf or Volkswagen Polo. I think that was done you know not too not to um, maybe annoy customers, the existing customer, they still see something of a resemblance to the existing cars. What you can see is that the rear lights are horizontally drawn to stress the width of the car and overall 
there has been a big anxiety that electric cars will look too bulky and not elegant enough. But I think with this car, they have managed it to relieve this anxiety. I think overall, it's a really attractive looking car, especially in this white blue color combination. So what will come into the series production? I'm not sure if those huge rims will come in that way. Also with the side mirrors, not sure about the regulations there in this case. But everything else is not that unrealistic. And what's behind the name of Volkswagen ID? Well, you guys maybe know the Apple ID and Volkswagen wants to create something similar. So this concept car is called ID, but there will be a service providing called Volkswagen ID. And that means, for example, with the Volkswagen ID, every driver will be recognized and it shall be recognized by the car itself. And then, for example, your favorite music is played by your car, the favorite ambient mood and also your seating position and everything according to your needs. And as soon as maybe your, your husband or your wife gets in the car or maybe your son or your daughter, then he, she has another Apple, uh, not Apple, Volkswagen ID then is getting recognized by the car once again and every parameter is again set for the driver. But also this is important for Volkswagen to get new revenues because car sales in future will be less about selling the car as a hardware but more about also selling car services around the car. And a first look at the interior. I've told you the longer wheelbase makes it possible to have more space on the interior. And you see that the rear doors, they open exactly like this, so to the rear, and that makes space for a good entry then to the interior. See, there's a bright interior with cloth covers. Maybe Herbert Dies, the Volkswagen brand CEO, listened to our interview last time. So I'm really pleased that we also have cloth seats here because they also say we want to build more sustainable cars. And this concept here of the whole interior is called open space, so more space for all of the passengers. And now a more detailed look into the interior. Here at the inside of the doors you see a part of the ambient lighting that will also be according to the favorite Volkswagen ID and for me it would also be blue. <laughs> what will be your color? If you look more towards the scenery you can already see there are no real buttons left just for the warning indicator lights. This will be the only button and you see the steering wheel at the moment comes quite far into the interior but when this car 2025 that's the plan will be in fully autonomous mode then the steering wheel move back a little bit more towards the dashboard and then make a free way to have even more space in the interior also what is interesting for the concept as you if you look to the rear seats there you can cinema like flip the seats up like with the magic seats that Honda is offering that you can load some high things in there and you will also be able just to flip the seats normally just fold it down and then you will have a maximum space of 960 liters in the capacity in the trunk what else will be interesting if you more look again to the steering wheel the autonomous mode will start by the way if you press the vw logo at the steering wheel that will be very interesting and if you hit maybe the throttle or the braking pedal then the car will go back into normal mode again and also a head-up display will play a vital role that if for example can see arrows from the GPS right there where they are for example at an intersection and not in the 2D style but really projected where they are on the road very interesting concept and again of course notable you've seen it the rear door how it opens that offers you an easy access for the rear passengers and unlike in the BMW i3 the rear seat belt is not mounted at the inside of the doors which is not very practical for you know getting children in and out here it's mounted directly at the seat on the inside and so that also creates no problems and now we are joined by Jürgen Stackmann vice president marketing and sales for the Volkswagen brand and of course we want to know I think this is not only a new car a new concept car for you this is also a change of the identity of the whole brand or what's behind it yeah, we, we are really, really excited to be in Paris to show the, the world what we've been working on so hard for, for over one year. Uh, we, we're now taking a, a huge step and commitment of the Volkswagen brand into an electric future. Uh, this, this car is not a normal show car. It's a car that actually shows where our technology is, uh, is going to, which we, the car 
uh, which we really want to bring to the market and excite our customers with. This car is going to be a fully electric car. We'll never have a, a, a sort of an uh, internal combustion um, engine, so no petrol, no diesel. Uh, it's, it's really created uh, to, to take the opportunity of having only electric drive. Uh, what you see here behind me is a car smaller than a Golf. It doesn't look like that, but it's, actually, it's, it's smaller in dimension than a Golf with the inside package uh, of a Passat. So you can sit in the front row, cross your knees. Uh, it's a car that actually is obviously fully connected, uh, has a full new basically electric uh, system that actually allows you to really get fully connected to your environment. Uh, it has a fantastic drive feel uh, like, like uh, our electric cars do have. It's really really fun to have and I think Farmos is going to be a typical Volkswagen affordable uh, for, for many uh, it's going to be a car that should, should be on the shopping list of our future Volkswagen uh, uh, drivers and owners and can really, really replace a normal car in the household fully functional really affordable long range so we're really really excited to take the step not only with a show car but actually with a firm commitment from the brand that Volkswagen is going electric such electric cars, they usually look a little bit different than normal cars, especially not with these long hoods, which we are you know, all accustomed to, um, and also about you know, loading up the vehicle, about the range. What can you do also maybe also in your field of, of marketing, for example, to raise the acceptance for this very vehicle in 2020 for the customer? I think you have to describe the stretch in which we find ourselves and those customer base for the future really, really well. I think people want something exciting, they want something new, and I think we've given our design team a real challenge to really reinvent Volkswagen design, to still be Volkswagen, very pure, very simple, because we really believe simple is actually is the new rich, the new luxury is, is not to be overly complex. We try to create a face of the car, which is a typical Volkswagen. A lot of sympathy, uh, very, very warm eyes, very warm character. Uh, sort of a car that really sort of you want to own, want to look at and, and, and be around with. A car that actually feels great uh, in your environment. This is a completely new way of creating environments. Uh, and I think our team have done an outstanding job in such a short time, not only to create a show car, but a vision to what Volkswagen will be, will feel and will touch, will be, uh, will, be, will feel like in a few years' time. Our viewers really are um, looking forward to this car and the main question is of course, what kind of features that this car is showing at the moment, exterior and interior, are really that realistic that we can see it in a C reproduction car? And what, what do you think, ah, okay, this is just for show purposes, we will leave it out, maybe bring it later. So can you maybe give a percentage of what's realistic and what's not that realistic with this vehicle? I think first, first of all, if you, if you look into the, look at the car, the, the car itself is very realistic. Uh, we really try to make a car that actually is astonishingly, astonishingly new, very fresh, uh, still actually remarkable Volkswagen in its character, a lot of quality, visual quality uh, in, in, in the senses. So everything you see actually is nothing which is out of space. It's something that we really work hard to, to bring to reality. The car features uh, sort of a 3D virtual reality H, uh, uh, HUD. So basically you see the directions you take on the road visually flying in front of you. You can touch them. Actually it's, uh, it's touchable. This technology is something we really want to bring your life in, uh, to life with, with that car. Uh, you can see this in our simulation. It's something which really is out of space. Fantastic. Uh, but again, it is creatable because we have a new dimension of space in the car, so we can use more space to create this technology uh, kit. The car in itself is going to be very simple uh, to use. We really believe that simplicity is, is, is a real item of luxury, so don't we, we try to get rid of as many knobs and, and uh, pins in, in, the, in the car to make it as pure as possible, as, as lo most logic intuitive to, to, to use that. And the car will obviously be fully connected to other cars, to the environment, to the city, so it's going to be a fully connected car so these are the virtues which we will bring uh, into into the car uh, something which we are pointing here is she actually is actually the, the 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 possibility of the car to become the first autonomous Volkswagen the car will be ready to do it uh, so we, pre we prepare the car from the uh, from the physics uh, to, to really do it but uh, it will take some time before the legal environment will be ready to really uh, sort of live with the challenge of fully autonomous uh, cars we, we are already now with Volkswagen technology at the highest potential level uh, around the globe we'll take the next two steps uh, before we get to this to, the, to this car but it basically this is pointing really at the first uh, really really uh, autonomous Volkswagen so again this is not something uh, something we'll, we'll discuss at long but uh, we are really working hard to bring the three pillars of future autonomous drive full connectivity and being part of an ecosystem uh, of Volkswagen and a full range sustainable mobility actually into practice by 2020.
Looking at the competition, some might say, oh, you know, Opel, for example, with the Ampera E, they are earlier, you come in 2020. So what do you want to do? Maybe with the face of the Golf that offers new, higher electric range now, and maybe you come a little bit later that you it at the very price you're aiming at, because batteries might be cheaper in four, in four years. Is this the reason? It's, uh, I think, uh, sort of a walk, uh, in, walk in time and a walk of energy. Uh, I think many people forget that Volkswagen today is one of the market leaders, leaders of electric mobility. In 2015, we have sold 50,000 electric cars, uh, e-ups, e-golfs, GTEs, our plug-in hybrids around the globe. Very successfully, people who really love to drive, uh, drive our cars. So we are actually gaining every day more and more experience in the field of electric mobility. Uh, we are currently gaining at high speed full competence on battery electric systems. We believe that actually is an essential part of our knowledge base uh, for, for the years to come. And obviously, we are, we are working uh, uh, very, very hard to get the cost down, not only of the battery, but the whole, the whole systems. Uh, and uh, we want to be a relevant purchase, uh, actually, by 2020. This is our ambition, this is our aim. This is what the teams are fighting for every day when they get to work. Uh, the company is changing fast. Uh, we, we are committed uh, to change, and we want to be a successful and leading player in electric mobility by 2020. And our last question for today, one of the key elements of this car and future Volkswagen identity will also be sustainability. So what features this car, what you can also add to the sustainability of the whole production process and the very car, maybe also exterior and maybe also the interior? We haven't yet uh, def defined uh, the, the interior parts. So w what's the sourcing of those parts? We are currently focusing on basically the battery electric system. Uh, so how do we create sustainable total systems uh, in, in this sense? Um, and actually, do we create a system that actually allows to have full range for customers to really feel that they don't have to have dual fueling, they can really say goodbye to petrol and diesel. This is actually what we, what we want to achieve. And we're obviously, obviously working with uh, governments uh, to, to really make sure that, that the total chain of energy is really changed with time. This is going to be basically, I think, our society challenge, uh, to not to not to think only for the mobility itself, but actually to the to the uh, to, total energy chain for, for for mobility. But we believe that this this car is going to be a statement of sustainability in all of its elements. When we get closer to production, we'll tell you exactly how do we uh, bring this to life in production? How do we bring this to life in the material set that we will use for the car? But we are currently focusing very much. On the on the what's really the hard piece now is get an affordable long-range electric battery range uh, car car uh, on the road that looks looks so sexy, so fascinating as this ID. Okay, thank you very much, thank and very much. we will of course catch up with the whole process with this vehicle just for you. So while Volkswagen brand CEO Herbert Dies is showing the interior once more of this Volkswagen ID concept car, what can we conclude for today? Well, first of all, the concept, I mean, the exterior, to me, looks really beautiful. I want to hear your opinion in the comments, of course. And I think they have managed it to design an electric vehicle with all of the advantages in the interior without losing too much of the design focus on the exterior. That works, I think, even though if not all elements will come in the exact way. And you can see it once again here behind me the interior concept without the B pillar that you can easily access this so-called open space that promises more worth living time in the car so spending more quality time in the car especially when we head out for the autonomous drive even when the steering wheel moves a little bit far away than during the autonomous drive mode and you have more space on the inside without a middle tunnel and so on so that looks really promising that you can get more space on the interior and still have very compact sizes on the exterior. This is, I think, the biggest strength of this car and that we will also have a good driving agility. Also, for example, the turning circle because with the electric, um, with the electric building platform, the MEB, that was this is the first car on this extra platform, extra designed to be an electric car, you can have bigger turning angles of the wheels in the front and means a turning circle just of 9.9 .9 meters. That's really not so much one of the advantages of this car. Also about the range, you will have different versions, 400 to 600 kilometers, that will be more than enough. Loading by the way with DC to 80% of the loading capacity in 30 minutes will take longer if you just use a household plug for, of course. But then the biggest but is, and I think maybe the only but, that this car will be launched in 2020. 
and this is definitely a little bit too late. So let's see if they can have a transition with the so far electric lineup with the Eagle, for example, with the now increased range to even out the waiting period until this very vehicle will be on the market. Be it Volkswagen ID or maybe it will have another model name. We're looking forward to it. Of course, again, want to hear your opinion to the thoughts on autonomous drive, exterior, interior with this car and about the whole vehicle concept. Thank you very much for joining Autogefühl and join more from our exclusive Paris Motor Show coverage.